So this is Ryan again, just to give you a quick update. Uh, we have pretty much everything put together. As you can see, I've got all the uh, stuff loaded in the truck, ready to roll. Um, a lot of spare parts. That right there is the top funnel to the uh, skimmer and uh, the skimmet collection cup. So um, didn't get a chance to show it all completed, but uh, it turns out, you may have noticed I've grown a little bit of a beard in the last couple weeks and I'm wearing my glasses today. There is a Burning Man event of sorts happening out at Seabase. So it's gonna be interesting. Um, I'm gonna get there this evening. Sun's about going down, but uh, we'll present this to George and Linda and set it up possibly tonight, most likely tomorrow, amidst all of the uh, celebrations and the uh, good time out in the desert. So look forward to it and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. So it's shaping up to be a pretty nice night. We're gonna get out there and have a great time. We're out here at Sea Base now. This one is, this is George. Hey! <laughs> and uh, we're ready to rock and roll with this thing. As you see, we've got a cap on here now. And uh, I'm gonna give a little explanation of what we can do with this. Okay. And say hi, Linda. Hi again. And hopefully we can uh, make some improvement to the water. But we're up and running, I had to make a few mods. It turns out that there is quite a bit of turbulence inside of the um, main tube, so we had to extend it. You'll notice it was quite a bit taller than when we first started. Okay. Um, and if you look at this right here, we have skimmit coming out of the thing. So, a little bit of a drain here. You can see, if I just let that sit, it just inches up ever so slowly as it fills up with skin. Now at this point, if you look at the water, you can see the difference in clarity with the uh, hose right there. And just what the water looks like versus coming out of the thing. So I think we did a pretty good job. We still gotta fine tune it. We'll probably turn it down just a little bit to make the stuff a little more dense. I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna go scuba diving. We're out at sea base and uh, have everything up and running now. Give you a little bit of a tour. If you walk around this way, you can see the Tiki Lounge. You may notice there are people here now. It's uh, opening hours and you'll see people come in to uh, get their gear. Learn a little bit. Hey guys, smile. You're on video. Just uh, making a little film of sorts. Just say hi. You're on video. Hey. How come you can't get that big boy of yours with a cold or somebody to wear a coat? I mean, you think you're. And out this way is the equipment shack of sorts. And we'll see what we've got for production. Uh, the skimmer was running last night. Come over here. We've been flowing it over to a bucket. There is your skimmet from one night's worth of production. So looks like it seems to be working pretty well. You've got a bucket full of it there. And back to the skimmer. I'll give you a little bit of a tour. Again, highly likely that this is going to fog up, so we might have to give it a second. Okay, so just to start the tour of this. One of the coolest things are these cam lock connectors. These just have a quick release, so it's really easy to unhook and unhook the device. Um, but we have a pump over there. The water's coming in through the system of pipes. I'll make a note that uh, what you see here are two large filtration systems that the owners had purchased and although they're big, they just have been problematic over the years and really haven't done the best job of cleaning the water up around here. So if we look at the skimmer, we went through the uh, layout before, water comes in right back there where that valve is. The 
bypass is closed, main flow goes up. The other bypass is closed. Currently we're running, it looks like, at about 30 PSI. There's your main injector, that's the two inch. Full foam through the stack, full foam through the stack. And you can see right here where the foam is coming up over the top. Coming out right there. And down through the overflow, you got all kinds of crud in there. The thing then is going to have to be cleaned up. Um, for flow control, we have a nice four inch gate valve and then outflow to the water. One thing I didn't accommodate for in the design was um, just the sheer amount of turbulence inside of the uh, main chamber, but um, that's the skimmer. It looks like we're working and uh, it's been quite an adventure. Um, where it's running right now at 40 PSI, that 40 PSI is running about 75 gallons a minute of water by the time you inject the air. You're right up to about 150 total gallons of fluid with the air water mixture. And by my calculations, um, there are 150,000 uh, gallons of water in just this smaller bay. If you turn and you look over there, there's a larger bay out there and then the round section back behind. Add it all up and you have right about 2.7 million gallons of water. As far as this first bay though, um, assuming you were just pumping the water straight one from the other, it would take two days to cycle that much. Uh, given the fact that you're recirculating it, it should take four days to process 85% of the water and continue to recirculate it, never fully processes it. But um, I hope to come out here in another month or so and see just how well this thing has worked. Again, um, just to kind of give a quick show, I took some skimmed out last night. And what you see in here is the water straight out of the lake. Um, when you're only looking through two inches, it really doesn't look that bad. And over here are two skimmets. Um, the shorter tube is the very first run. And then this is what we pulled out last night over a, about from 10.30 to right now. And it's probably, I don't know, 7.30 in the morning. Pulled out just about five gallons of it. So I'd say we had a pretty good successful run. We're gonna let this run for another month or so, and then I'm gonna come back out and see what we're looking like. Hopefully we can uh, clean up the water. Drying again, and uh, George was concerned about overflowing bubbles, so we build a second stage collector. As you can see behind me right here, everything's up and running now, and this thing is actually picking up quite a bit of skin on top of that. Um, this continues to crank away, so far today we've pulled out over five gallons of dark skimmit and just keeps on running. We're going to let this go and come back in a month.